Tunda ng ating panigbangon niya sa kumuhin ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Pinsay na lipay niya, ni Aos na nagpagkita. Nagkakita ay upang sa grasya sa kumuhin ng Diyos. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pinsay na ating ng buday para sa kumuhin ng Diyos. Amen. So, before that, ako ginahan niyo ang tanay sa pagpalito. Ato ang halaran awit ang atong buhi ng Diyos. Atong i-welcome ang bala ng Espiritu. Atong i-welcome si Jesus. Karong kabuntagon. Atong siyang daigon. Atong siyang simbangon. Kaya wala yung lakin. O wala yung ato ang dahil simbangon kundi si Jesus na mag-i-welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, there's nothing above me.
Oh, no. 
Jesus. We praise your name, God. Thank you, Lord. Salamat din mo. Walang makalabaw sa kalipay. Hindi po lang sa mga kasikas ng mga
mo ang malampasan na pagsulay ng panas ni Hana mo ang panalangin na giandam sa tukuhin na Diyos sa anong kinabuhin. miracles, O oh God, that will bring victory to the lives of each of your people. We thank you for this morning and forever, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, the people of God say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome to our new covenant in Christ Sunday morning service. Thank you so much, Brother June. Thank you, music team. Praise the Lord. It's nice to see everybody's happy and healthy and doing fine by the grace of God. Amen, ba? Amen. Amen. 
Okay. Let's start with our church decoration. Ready na ba mo? Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's see, say this now. All together now. Today, I receive all that Christ died to give me. His abundant life, limitless grace, boundless mercies, divine restoration of youth, and overflowing provisions. Today, I take hold of all God's blessings, healings, and miracles. I shall be transformed from glory to ever-increasing glory and victory to overwhelming victory. I will enter the promised land of the believer's rest, seeing His mighty restoration in each and every area of my life. I proclaim that I am God's beloved, His highly favored child, His powerful servant, and His overcoming champion. And because I am blessed to overflowing, I will be a blessing to all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Kabalim mo church, whenever we declare that, lagi na yung kahimuan, lagi na yung power sa ito life. Because kini mga declaration na ito, di lang ganyan siya buhat-buhat. These are many, many promises and verses of God in the Word of God. Nga ito lang di-join together. Lain na yung mga translations in kaso wala ninyo recognize sa mga wordings. So, ang atong title for the message this morning is The Cruciality of Correct Knowledge. Okay, Cruciality. Kung saan saan Cruciality? Is that about the cross? Uh, gitanon ako sa mga online dictionary ang pangal, ang meaning sa cruciality as a state of critical urgency sa mga critical, when you say it's critical pinaka-importante yun dilig yun siya ka nang pwede iset aside lang and when you say urgency, kinanglan na yun dayon, when you say nga na kay urgent nga appointment, dili ni mo pwede pa ugmao na or pa next day or pa next month kailangan mo ato na ka, parehas na for example Gubo. sakit na gikay mong ipon kana siya urgent na siya kailangan ng mato kay Dok Sandra na pero kana siya mo lang buti critical important and urgency kailangan din ato right now and right then nya na, na ano ko na bless ko kay pagtanaw na ako sa online dictionary sa word hippo use cruciality in a, in an example sa sentence ang igawas anim pero klaro gikay ni nga mensahe ni Lord sa to ha example ni ha sa online dictionary ang using cruciality in a sentence. It's no wonder that so much of the church is feeble today. Feeble means weak. When so much of the church denies the centrality and cruciality and efficacy of the cross. So basically, ang buti masabot ana, so much of the church is not aware about the finished work of Jesus on the cross. Dili sila aware about His work of grace. Dili siya aware about the pagka-finish siya yung work. Yung mga Christian na nagbot na, tanawin niyo na magawas na siya sa word hippo. So I guess that's part good nga. Gusto ginang ni Lord, nagamito na ito example ka ron. Kay Mogi na ang one of the examples of using cruciality in a sentence. So, I guess ninyo buti pa sabot sa word cruciality. Okay? Atong reading ka ron will be taken from Luke 8 verse 41 to 55. Uh, we don't have the time to take up everything. So we will skip verses. Okay? Kinsa na kayo na kay Jairus diha. Si Jairus, a synagogue leader sa so verse 41 and came and fell at Jesus' feet. How many of you know uh, ang feet ni Jesus is the highest place in the world? Amen. Diba? Amen. Pleading with Him to come to His house, Lord. Ano mo? Atuwan man niya si Lord Jesus eh, ang balay. Verse 42, Because His only daughter, a girl about 12, was dying. And Jesus was on His way and the crowds almost crushed Him. Sa kadaghan, mga tao na gusto kay Jesus, Krabi ka ay kadagang tao. And the woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. Na take up na na ni before. Kining woman, 12 years, nakadong siya about kay Jesus. Tingnan siya, if only I can touch the hem of his robe. Niya, pag-touch niya, nag-stop yung bleeding. Yung si Jesus, who touched me? Niya, nadugay pagit siya. Kung ikaw si Jairus, Ana, mag-uol na ka, Ana, bro, naka, Lord, nga na nag-stop pa man tadiri. Why are we still doing these things? Si Jesus, Morning, ma-amaze ko kay Jesus. Never did si Jesus nagadali ba? Napansin ba niyo sa Tibok Bible Log? Uy, dali! Ito na, malate na ta dito. He's always at the right place and at the right time. Kabalog yun, matiming atong ginawa. Besides, kabalo siya, even though nga dying na ang anak ni Jairus, kabalo siya, wala yung problema sa iya. Bisa pang mamatay, kaya na yung buhi. Amen? Inana ka confidence si Jesus. Mona, when the woman was, ano, he had time pa. He had time to minister to woman. You know the story? na take up na nato till many times before na ayong woman so siguro siya kinsay nagtouch ako anak mo kinsay mas dagan kayo tao dari Lord the crowds almost crushed him ganyan nakabutang dari sa reading pero yung unsya mo kinsay nagtouch ako ah and then ang babae she lifted her hand and she said ako or dahil siya woman your faith has made you well go in peace 
So nag-stop by pa siya before man siyang diretso sa balay ni Jairus. pag sa balay ni Jairus, so verse 48, uh, yun siya, daughter, your faith is sealed, you go in peace. And verse 49, while Jesus was still speaking, kay istorya pa niyang babae, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader, your daughter is dead. He said, don't bother the teacher anymore, patay na, too late na. Wala na ninyo napsan. Sorry kay Jairus. Ayun na lang ninyo i-bother si Jesus. Kay busy pa na si Jesus. He has a lot of people to minister to. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just believe. And she will be healed. That is our foundation text for this morning. And I believe nga, mogi ako ng mensahe ni Jesus karon. You know, in all the problems for na ma-face na ito, sa kalibutan karon, the difficulties, ang um, kakulangan sa kwarta, ang um, COVID pandemic, ang uh, mga challenges na na-face na to, ini mga quarantine na mga rules, kini mga new normal. O sa lang ginang mensahe ni Jesus para sa to. Ah. He's telling us right now, don't be afraid, just believe. And kung unsa man ang inyong ginatuuhan, unsa man ang inyong ginahope or ginapangano siya, just like Pastor Raman preached last Sunday, madawat ka na ninyo. You will receive. Just don't be afraid. Just believe. One of mensahe ni Lord para sa to ah, karong buntaga. Verse 52, while all the people, and you know the story, right? Verse 52, when all the people came wailing and mourning for her, stop wailing. Masa na wailing ka ng chabaw. Kaya grabe kayong paghila. Jesus said, she is not dead, but asleep. Kini ba? Dagan kay confusion na nga. Masa tima si Jesus, asleep. First of all, um, asleep is a euphemism sa Bible for dying. Basta believer gani ka, ang gamitin yun na is asleep. Pero kung dili gani ka believer, ang tao is dead. Kaya nga no, ang asleep man good, buhikon pa mo gana ni Jesus. Marag, ang iyang buti pasabot niya is, He is thinking ba? Wala siya na, Jesus cannot lie, di ba? Di mo siya pwede mamakap. He's not exaggerating also. Ang buti pasabot niya is because He's Jesus, He can make that dead girl's condition temporary, just like sleep. Okay? Nag-guess niya na? Ngayon nga ubad nga dili na tinuo ang 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 ang, ang kalag dili pa ma race until sa last day mo na ginatudlo sa uban pero dili na siya mao. Verse 53 they laughed at him knowing that she was dead ikatawan pa gyud siya. But he took her by the head and said my child get up. Her spirit returned and at once she stood up and Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Amazing kayo, right? Pero si Jesus si Jairus mo ni siyang story ni Jairus. Pitinio ang yo ka Jesus Jesus come to my house to heal my little girl. Atong ikumpara na sa another story, actually, nana siya sa Luke 7, po, pero na version na si Matthew. So Matthew 8, sa 6 to 13, na dia si Jesus, giduulan na po siya sa Osaka Roman Centurion. Okay? Say to me, Centurion. Okay? That is, what is a Roman Centurion? He's a highly placed Roman official. Kanang, kanang, usa siya kanang Officer siya sa army sa Rome. Okay? He's a centurion. Dili siya nga, dili siya centurion. Okay? Siya na isulti kay Jesus nga. nga. So, ingon si Jesus na nga, uh, verse 7, ano siya nga, my servant, as uh, 6 sa madeta, Lord, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Because according sa kining verse nga kini, kining reading nga kini, he cared very much about his servant. Nice magkaroon na ginanang amo, no? Kanang, love you kay kasi mga amo, magdula nga si Jesus. Verse 7, Jesus said to him, Shall I come to heal him? Kita niyo na. Yung si Jesus, Kung sa man, Muban ko niyo mo? Paris kay Jairus, Muban ko sa iyo mong balay? Kasi so this is centurion. The centurion replied, Lord, Bakos lang ko, Don't come to my house. Joke lang. Ang yung isulti is, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, But just say the word, And my servant shall be healed. So, Makita niyo di ha, Na, Ingon si Jesus nga this is a very famous saying kasi nakabaloan ni siya kini all the time ni ginasulti so ban for I myself as a man under authority with soldiers under me I tell this one go and he goes and that one come and he comes I say to my servant do this and he does it so verse 13 ingon si Jesus when Jesus heard this he was amazed and he said to those him following him truly I tell you I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith Verse 13, that Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you have believed it would. And his servant was healed at that very moment. What's the difference? Jairus needed Jesus to come to his home. 
And Jesus went down to Jairus' level of faith and accommodated him. Kung unsa imong pagtuo, diha pod ang imong miracle nimo ma-receive. Now for people na dako kay pagtuo, grabe pod ang miracle na receive nila. Grabe ang protection, grabe ang pabor. So makita nimo ang sentoryo din na siya kailangan mo adto sa balay. Pero kay Jairus kailangan gyud niya ubanon si Jairus pati gyud hangyo ni Jairus. Pwede mo ang tamasod si Jairus Lord din kailangan adto sa balay. Just say that my daughter is healed and she will be healed. Pero what does that show you? Lahi lahi ang miracle, same miracle, but one had to go to his house and Jesus did not have to go to the centurion's house. The difference is their level of faith. So makita niyo na how do you see Jesus? Ngano inana man kadako? Ingon si Jesus, great ang imong faith, Roman centurion. Ngano man? Because nakaila ang centurion kung unsa ang authority ni Jesus. Nakaila siya kang Jesus because he himself is a person of authority. Ingon siya, Lord, kabalo ko Lord, you are Lord over all. You have the greatest power. And I understand your power, Lord, because I have a power among Roman soldiers, just like you have power among your angels, among your kanang, kanang healing power, ni Lord. Di nakakailangan mo ito. Just say it, Lord, and I will be able to receive it. Because Jesus great faith. And accommodate niya, makita niyo difference sa duha. Because nakaila ang centurion kung unsa ang power ni Jesus. Mauna, it's very important, it's very crucial that you have a correct knowledge of God. Because once you have a correct knowledge of God, like the Roman centurion did about Jesus, wala imposible sa inyo. Amen? When I go to John 17 verse 3, I'm very surprised to find this. I believe the Passion Translation says it very well. Eternal life, ingon si Jesus, means to know and experience you as the one and only true God. Say it to me, to know. Kailangan mahibat ang ganyan. And to know and experience Jesus Christ as a son whom you have sent. So what does knowing here mean? It means, kailangan yung ma-experience si Jesus mismo. Kailangan yung ma-experience ang love, ang power, ang greatness, o gigugma sa ginawa para sa kadao sa inyo. Muna yung si Jesus nga, even ang, ang, ang knowing mga God is many different types of knowing. Yung si Jesus nga, I know this person, I know that, kabalo na ko ng versikulo ka na, pero naapoy knowing that creates intimacy. Say it with me, intimacy. Ang pagkahila na to sa Diyos o ang pagkahila sa Diyos sa to, ha, is an intimate kind of knowing. Muna yung si Jesus sa Matthew 7 verse 22 to 23 sa God's Word translation, Many will say to me in the day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we force out demons and do many miracles by the power and authority of your name? Then I will tell them publicly, I've never known you. Wala yung ko nakahila sa inyo ha. Get away from me, you evil people. So basically, ang katong mga tao sa ginoo, those who belong to God, Jesus knows them intimately. Why? Remember, in Ephesians 1 verse 4 and in many, many other verses, pinili na taniya. Long before He created the world. The reason nga luwas mo karon, the reason nga nagasimba mo karon, kay Jesus, the Word of God says, He already knew you. Long, long before you were created and He de- decided that you would be saved. Romans 8, verse 29 to 30. Nakapunang dali. Those He foreknew and loved and chose beforehand. Hindi mo katapan, ikaw na. Ako na. Amen? Amen? Ang kailan ni Jesus daan, gihigugma niya, o gihang gipili, ito na pa. O niya, katong niyang nailhan daw, katong niyang giforneo, he predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son and ultimately share in His complete sanctification so that Jesus would be the firstborn. Ang saan ang firstborn? Kuya! The most beloved and honored among many believers. Verse 30, And those He predestined, He also called. Kamo na mo diri because gitawag mo sa Diyos. And those who He called, He justified. Unsa mo, He declared mo guilt, free from the guilt of sin. And those who He justified, he also glorified someday we will be with Jesus, we will have new bodies, and we will be reigning with Him in His glory. Na may ng verse na kini sa Romans 8, actually this entire chapter is amazing. And we are always, kami ni Pastor Aaron, we are always quoting from Romans 8. Because ang nakabutang diri, kung kinsay na ilan sa ginoo before, kung kinsay ang gipili before, kinsay mga pinili diha? Yes. Amen. Nga na nakabalumang kung mga pinili mo? Di 
Because nakatuuman mo kay Jesus karon. Because you are believers in His finished work and in His grace, therefore I am sure that you have been chosen. Ingon pa si John dito nga, I'm telling you this so that you may know you have eternal life. Mahibalaan ninyo. Unlike the rest of the world, na masunti sila nga, di pag sigurado kung naluwas na siya. Bisang pag dugay na kayo ng malagat sa, sa ginoo, ambot lang, kung naluwas pa bagay na siya, di takabalog yun, magigit tayo nahibalaan. Ang Diyos sa ginoo nakabalog. Pero the word of God tells you, you can actually know. You can actually know because of your faith, kaya nagatuo ka sa iya ha. And ang ninth nindot tayo sa Romans 8, 29 to 30, kaya kung gipiling na kanihang, Sigurado na gyud nga gipredestine kaniya nga maluwas ka. Sigurado na gyud. Manuman, it comes by grace. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Namoy pagtuo? Amen. Tungod na kay Jesus. Kitagaan mo niya pagtuo. That is an act of grace. Grace by faith. It comes from God. It's a gift of God. So, niyo mo padre nga kung kinsa yung gipili, gipredestine, gitawag. Kung kinsa gitawag, he declared justified. Justified means walay sala, free from sin, free from guilt, totally clean. And katong gi declare niya totally clean, mahimaya ko along with siya pagbalik niya. And that's done deal. Ini mo kato pa done deal. Sigurado na na kay nga no man dili man gud nimo mapastop ang Dios sa iyang plano sa imong kinabuhi. Inana siya ka powerful. Inana siya makagagaw. Inana ko siya ka loving para sa ato ah nga siguraduhon yun niya nga kada usa sa ato maluwas gyud kada usa sa ato maprotektahan gyud kada usa sa ato mabless gayud amen ba okay so unsa man gisulti ini Paul diri sa Philippians 3 verse 8 to 10 so makita nato nga ang knowing is many different levels knowing can be an amount of knowledge for example you can say nga ako kabalo ko sa balaod kay bugado ko nga dili mo aware kung unsa yung mga ubang mga laws diha lahi ang knowledge level na to pero naapot ay gitawag ng intimate knowing katong sa Romans 8 o katong gitsul si Matthew 7 it's an intimate knowing nga na ilhanin mo siya because na na siya love para sa tuwa na na siya relationship kabalo na si Jesus daan sa inyo kabalo ba mo awa pa mo na panganak kabalo na siya sa inyong personality kabalo na siya kung unsa mo ka basa ka kaya kaya kabalo na siya kung unsa mo ka corny kabalo na siya kung unsa ko ka corny kabalo na siya tanan tanan and he still loved us and he knows also kung unsa yung sala long beforehand it does not surprise him just like it doesn't surprise him na nakas na deny siya ni Peter three times he already knows everything because he sees the end from the very beginning ingon si Paul dere sa verse eight ingon siya more than that I count everything as loss compared to the priceless privilege and supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Wait, nakailan na ba si Paul kay, Paul, kay Jesus sa anang panahon? Philippians is the one of the last books ng Jesus lang ni Paul. That means hapit na siya mamatay. In fact, he was in jail at this time, I think. Oh, tama ba daw? Yeah, and he was in jail at this time when he wrote the book of Philippians. Okay? He was awaiting his execution. Uh, si Luke, ang iyong kauban nito, nag si Luke, kung um, kita mo sa moving up all, si Luke, nagabisita sa iya, ha? nag na sila, they are uh, building each other up, and they were preparing ilang mga writings sa nilang letters, and growing, unsa man ang knowing Jesus Christ, unsa man ang supreme advantage of knowing Jesus Christ, of growing more deeply, and thoroughly acquainted with Him. A joy, an equal, wala daw kaparehas, nakalipay, once na ilan, yun yung mga gino, thoroughly, and deeply, di mo ikanta na to ganyan, deep cries out. Okay, that refers to the Holy Spirit, but it also refers to going deeper into the knowledge about our Lord Jesus Christ and what He has done for us. For His sake, I have lost everything and consider it all garbage so that I may gain Christ. Gisalikwa niya tanan. Even si Paul, makita ni mo, si Paul, wag yun ang panato, wala yun siya nagasawa. As in, everything good is all for Jesus, good, all for the sake of the gospel, because he really, really wants to know Jesus more and more. Grabe kayo yung kagutom, kauhaw, to experience an intimate knowing. Dili lang kay, dili lang kay, ano, dili lang kay pahapyaw na knowledge. May mo naman kadugay naman nalawa si Paul din eh. You know, what di ka kaila, Paul, kay Jesus? Nakita ang mangani mo sa road sa Damascus. Diba? Nabuta pa mangani ka, diba? Naayaw ka niya. Si Jesus pa mangani, naghatag sa mo, unsa ng communion, yung ba si Paul nga, I have shared ko, unsa yung ni Lord Jesus sa kuwa. Diba? Inana siya nga, inana siya ka intimate ka Jesus. Pero still, yung si Paul, I want to know more. I want to leave everything. I want to forsake everything. Kaya yung siya, 
ang word of God magu consume mo, for sake for the sake of the gospel, I bless ka with the Lord with more, if not here in the next life. And this so that I may know Him. Kung sa pagnang knowing Him, sa amplified, experientially becoming more thoroughly acquainted with Him, understanding the remarkable wonders of His person more completely. Kabi gusto niya ng ilhan tanan every aspect about Jesus. And in that same experience, the power of His resurrection, which overflows and is active in believers. Kabalo ba mo nga ang power sa resurrection sa gino? Active sa inyong kinabuhi? Nag-overflow sa inyong kinabuhi? Mo na siyang deep rise up, mo na river na nag-overflow. Ingo si Jesus, if you believe in me, rivers of living water will flow from deep within you. And He's referring to the Holy Spirit. That I may share the fellowship of His sufferings and be continually conformed inwardly into His likeness. His death, even dying as he did. Gusto gin niya maparehas kay Jesus na even though, even ang kinabuhi niya, gusto po niya hatag para kay Jesus. And we know from Christian tradition that Paul was martyred for his belief. He could have, pwede man to niya iwasan. Kay nga naging naman siya ni Prophet Agabus, ayaw pa nato sa Roma, Paul. Kay pag-abot din dun sa Roma, sa Rome, patiyon ka dito. Pero Paul still went. Because he wanted to be with the Lord. He wanted to know what it's like to give his life for the Lord. In anag ikasot out si Paul. And then he wants to be, kanag gusto ginyo mangbalan every aspect about Jesus. We talk that we all know Jesus, right? We have a personal relationship with him. But there is still a more knowing more. There is still, it's impossible for you, mga God. We are human beings, limited at ang capacity. But God is like the ocean. He's like the Pacific Ocean. Niya kita mo rotag kabo. Okay, sige lang tagkuha, sige tagkuha. We're discovering more and more of His grace, more and more of His power, more and more of His miracles. And then God is, is, is showing us more and more. Now, we will not know everything until we are united with Him sa heaven, pero we can keep knowing more. We can keep growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Remember, what is the main clause of the New Covenant? One of the main clauses of the new covenant is yes, I will forgive your sins, and your deed, your sins and losses I will remember no more. But before that, ingon si Jesus tere, ingon si si Lord sa Hebrews eight verse eleven, ang new covenant that will be characterized by this: no one then will need to speak to his friend or neighbor or brother, saying you too should know the Lord, because everyone, great and small, will know me already. Bisan pag unsa ka kakuyaw, bisan pag unsa ka kaamayo, bisan pag unsa ka gamay, unsa ka kahambol, everybody, Jesus wants to reveal more of Himself to you. More of His power, more of His grace, more of His love, more of His miracles. He really wants to. Amen. 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 Tapos, ingon po diri si Paul sa Ephesians 3 verse 18 to 19. So, unsa man din, kanang, let me give you an example na lang. Gusto ni Jesus ba nga, tanan niyang people is kanang close you kay saya kanang yung for example si pastor arman and si sister dina kita ka ila tan kay pastor arman we know how kind he is how good he is we know how uh, wonderful he is how dependable he is pero lahi ra gyud yung pagkaila kay kay ni gina saya no because they've been together for more than a decade they've had two kids together lahi ra gyud we know him but mas grabe pa gyud ang pagkaila ni gina saya in ana nga klase nga knowing ang gusto ni Jesus na ito, ang mahibalaan na ito siya, may experience na ito siya. Remember, ang gamit na lang po ang kanang, kanang joke illustration. Asa ito, Brother Tony? Pwede na ako gamitan ng mga uh, Brother Tony. Gamitan ito ka-example lang. <laughs> Kaya, <laughs> si Brother Mark na lang po. So, anyway, ano pa si Brother Tony ba? Nga? Ano si Brother Tony nga? Kailagin ako tanan mga importante nga tao sa kalibutan ba? Wagi kay masulti sa ako ang nanay si Mark nga dili gyud ako kaila kaila gyud ako tanan 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 Asha dili ate stamp cross kaila din nimo Asha tara ato ta ato sila sa Hollywood tuktok sila di sa balay stamp cross pag abri ni stamp cross sa sa yang balay Asha oy Tony kumusta man ka long time no see man aya ah, pang gihano sulod diri ka unsa ta impress kay si Mark ano siya sige kinsa pa may sikat ha si President Trump Ah, to sila sa White House. Kailan po na ako na? Migo na ako na. Nakula ako sila sulit sa White House na may tour diha. Kung kisa gusto maganto. May tour diha. Nga, wala gala ako si President Trump dito sa likod. Ah, na po siya. Uy! Tony, na malagi ka dali. Napasuro yung malagi ka dali. Ragot Tony. Oh, Dinebisaya English guy. Come Tony, let's eat. 
<laughs> Let's eat, Brother Tony. Let's eat in the White House. Ano, impress na gigay kay Smart. Kisa mo may sikat. Kaya siya kung naman na Smart. Kisa mo kay sikat na dili kayo na ni Tony. No? Ano siya siguro? Si Pope siguro? Ano na ko? Kailan yung si Pope? Ah, tara. Ato ito sa Patikan. Ato siya dito sa Roma. Nga, kung kailan mo sa St. Peter's Square, di ganit tao niya. Na dito ang Pope nagkakaway-kaway sa balcony. Kita na mga na si Vin. Yeah. Ah, so, hindi mo ako makikita. Andri, di ganit tao. Sige lang, sunod lang pa dito sa Batikan kay kailan man ako tanong mga guardiya dito. Alas to ni. Kailan ako matanong guardiya dito? Masaka ko dito niya. Mahibala ni mo. Kailan din ako si po. Okay. Nag-shock na lang si Mark. Bakit? Ano itong sa katao? Uy, nalagay si Tony dito sa taas. Kinsan ang nakaputi nga nagkakaway-kaway ka o ba niya? Mas kaila pa si Tony. Yes, sa po <laughs> Ina na nga klase nga knowing ang gusto ni Jesus ato. Ang gusto niya tanan niya mga people Tanan niya ang mga close, tanan niya ang mga suod, nakaila gayon sa iya, kabalo sa iyang pamaagi, kabalo sa iyang grasya, kabalo sa iyang kanang finish work on the cross, kabalo sa iyang gahom, kabalo sa iyang miracle working power. That's what the Lord wants from all of us. Ephesians 3 verse 18 to 19, ingon si Paul diri, Be fully capable, mo ni prayer ni Paul para sa churches, of comprehending with all the saints, God's, God's people, the width and the length and the height, a depth of His love, fully experiencing what amazing, endless love that you may come to practically through personal experience. Gusto kaniya nga, may experience kaniya, practically ba? May experience kaniya, just like I was able to experience the Lord's healing in my life many, many times na. Okay? He was the love of Christ which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience. Hindi niya gusto nga, nakabalo lang mo sa inyong pagbasa, sa inyong mga readings, or ka nang, ka nang nadunggan lang ninyo. Murag si, si Job ba? Si Job, kabalo ba mo si Job? Katong time nga nag-reveal, nag si Lord sa iya, katong gibadlong na siya ni Lord. Kaya sige man siya, so di Lord, unfair kay ka Lord, butan kay ka Lord, niya silutan ko ni mo. Niya, finally, gingnan siya ni God, nga, nakabalo ba ka, Job? Were you here when I made the earth? Give sermonan ni ni God, si Job, o niya, ingon si Job nga, I have only heard about you, Lord, from before. But now my eyes have seen you. Buti pa sa butang na, karun lang yun siya, nakaila, kung kinsan Diyos, dugay na siya, nag-sacrifice kay God, ha? He was considered one of the most righteous men on the face of the earth. And yet, wag yun siya, nakaila kay Lord ba? Wag siya kabalo, nga dili day si God, ang nagasilo sa iya, si Satanas di ay. Di ba? Di ba? The love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge that you may be filled out throughout your being to all the fullness of God so that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your lives completely filled and flooded with God Himself. Kasi gusto ka na. Kasi gusto mo ka richest experience of God's presence in their lives. Amen? That's why we're here this morning. And whenever you hear the word of grace, kabalukap, when you hear the word of God correctly explained, Kanan sa 2, 2 Timothy 2.15 bitaw, kabalo mong pikas-pikas sa word of truth. Parang sa naman ni Pastor Arman, mas mailan pag yun si Jesus all the more. Wano trabaho na sa pastors? Whenever we preach every Saturday, whenever pastor preaches every Wednesday, whenever we preach here every Sunday, we are trying to show you more and more of what Jesus really is like. Kaya dagat kayo mga false information niya sa gawas. Na yung ba nagasulti na si Jesus is just a man? Na yung ba niya nagasulti na God is angry at the world? You know what great emotion God is feeling towards the world right now? Iyon sila, God is angry at the world. He sent this COVID-19 disease. Di na gini mawala. Hantun mabalik si Jesus. Muna, nadunggan ako na subang Christians. It will get worse and worse and worse. So that's the bad news, no? What are we here in church for? We're here to listen to the good news. Romans 10, 17, NLT. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the good news about Jesus Christ. So, it's about that. Baka nang we need to show about the world. Kabalo mo sa greatest emotion ni Lord para sa kalibutan today? Dili ka suko. It's love. For God so loved the world. He gave His only begotten Son. Amen? Tanaw na to example sa Luke 15. Katong son bitaw. Kabalo na magin mo sorry sa prodigal son, di ba? Ingon sa the son said, Father, listen. Kabalo na magin mo sa story. Nag, 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 naghawak tong son. Nibalik siya. Ipasailo siya, gikil nila ang fatted calf, ang baka. The son said, Father, listen. Anak, katumbutan ng anak. Kaya nadunggan man niya dito mga nag-celebrate. Yung sila, anak, dali, dali mag-celebrate ta. Dili, gud siya mga ato dito. Kaya suya, gud siya dito sa iyahang, sa iyahang iksoon. Father, listen. How many years have I been working like a slave for you? 
performing every duty of us as a faithful son. I've never once disobeyed you, but you've never thrown a party for me because of my faithfulness. Never once have you given me a goat, a goat that I could feast on and celebrate with my friends like he's doing now. Nag-skip na kung verse 30 din, kaya taas na kayo, din ako gusto matagos ang kaya ng sermon. Yung palihan din sa because, but your son, ano siya? Ano ginawa mo nang basta suya ka? Dili na, my brother, your son, igagaw ni mo. Misan din sila related, yung brother, imo ang anak, nibalik ka ron after all that riotous living and all those prostitutes, and then inana yung pag-treat sa iya, kung sa'yo, 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 mamahan sa'yo. The father said, he represents God, ha? my son, you are always with me by my side. Everything I have is yours to enjoy. You could have had a goat many times before. All you had to do was ask. Ang goat, your friends. You could have had the fatal calf and with your friends. You could have asked at any time. Because tanan tanani imuha po ni. Why wasn't he able to receive? Because he did not know his father accurately. Wala siya kabalo. Dagan kayong mga Christians diha. Wala sila kabalo kung unsa sila kalab sa ginoo. Habi nila ang Diyos ko ripot. Nakoy na dunggan mga pastors na resulti nga. Si God mohatag lang sa imong needs. So niya kuto bragyo diha. Murabag ng anak si Lord. Okay. Uh, Tagaan tagag sakto lang ha. Pang tuition sa mga anak niya. Di na ganda kung mudugan nga na. Bisang pag usak si Indimos. Sakto ragad. Sakto ragad niya. Kay need ragad na. Hili na na tong Diyos. The word of God tells us that He loves to provide for His children. In Matthew 7 to 11, He's a good father, loves to give good gifts to those who ask for Him. In Second Corinthians 9, verse 8 and 11, God is able to make all grace. Unsa man grace amplified? Every favor, every earthly blessing. Mas masuti mas spiritual blessing ng grace. Dili earthly blessing, including na lang provision, including healing. Come, how much? Say mo In abundance. Tell your neighbor, in abundance. To you, so that you may always, under all circumstances, regardless of the need, have complete sufficiency in everything. Being completely self-sufficient in Him. Para unsa? Para unsa? So that we can have an abundance of every good work. Remember, you are blessed to be a blessing. Wa ka gi-bless sa gino para lang mag-enjoy, enjoy ka. Wa siya problema sa imo mag-enjoy sa imong blessings. Why problema? That He's blessing you so that you can be a blessing. He's blessing you para daghan pag ma-reach sa gospel tungod sa imuha. He's blessing you so that makaila ang mga tao sa iya ha. An act of charity. Verse 11, you will be enriched. In what way? Spiritually lang? No! In every way! Say it with me, in every way. In every way. ka niya. Financially, enrich ka niya. Physically, enrich ka niya with knowledge. Mone ang gusto sa imo in every way. So that what? So that you can be generous. And this generosity me administering to administer to us is producing thanksgiving to God. Kung nakailag yung kay Jesus, you will know na ang purpose nato sa kinabuhi is always been to glorify Him. It's not just to be blessed. It's not just to be prosperous. It's not just to be healed to get whatever we want. But it's always been to give Him glory. Ingon pa si Jesus sa John 17, verse 10 and 15. All things that are mine are yours, and all things that are yours are mine. Katong mga people, na he's talking about the people na gihatag ni God sa iya ha. And I am glorified in them. Like the Westminster Catechism says, the chief end of man, ang purpose na sa kinabuhi, is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. Amen. Amen. Mo ang purpose atong kinabuhi. It's not to live selfishly. It's not to live alone. It's not to live just enjoying yourself. It's to enjoy God forever. Because you know, the way that God is glorified most is when you find your greatest joy in Him. Diba ingon si Paul? It's a joy unequal. Dili gud maequal ang pagkaila na to kay Jesus. Kung mailan ninyo siya as a healer, as a wonderful friend, as a brother, He's all of that to us. He's even our husband. He's even our groom. And then mga Christians karon are always saying worse than nagyo ka kayong kalibutan. Gusto na may mag-rapture. Kung sa may will ni Jesus sa ato, gusto na ba niya ma-rapture ta karon? Kapoy na kay Lord, mahal na kayong butang, i-rapture na mi. Gusto na may diha sa heaven. Gusto so, din ni Jesus. Sa so, verse 15, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them and protect them from the evil one. 
dili wil sa Ginoo nga ma-rapture na dahil ta karon kay ano daghan pa kailangan makaduog sa gospel daghan pa ta trabaho diri sa kalibutan na patay mission whenever we're here in church whenever we're broadcasting live whenever the music team plays we are here to bring the gospel the true gospel to the people wala tong purpose diri dili gusto sa Ginoo ako unta kay kung wao unta wala na si Holy Spirit diri sa kalibutan nga naman nakapuyo man ang Holy Spirit sa ato ha Hindi kung wala na si Holy Spirit sa kalibutan, wala na yung maluwas. Kaya Holy Spirit man ang mag-convict para maluwas ang tao. So, dili niya gusto nga mawala na dili sa kalibutan. Stop asking for rapture. Mabot ra na sa right time. God really will rapture His people at the right time. Masa yun dito, masa nas preach ng gospel sa tipo kalibutan. Once na same na tangan mga pinili sa Diyos, then the rapture will come. But ang gusto siya ginoo, you keep them and protect them from the evil one. Unsay will ni God. Unsay will ni Jesus. Unsay prayer niya para sa tuwa. Dili nga mawala ta sa kalibutan, pero samtang nata diri sa kalibutan, walay makahilabot ninyo. Amen. Including COVID-19. Amen. 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 Muna, confident kay kung walay COVID-19 diri sa simbahan. Kaya nga no, you came here to honor God. You came here to worship God. You came here to listen to the word of God. Kung kinsay nakaila kay Jesus niya, you know that He's never going to disappoint that kind of faith. He is never going to let His people out. Well, bahala na mo diya. Well, nag-adto mag mo si Mahal. Bahala na mo diya. Ang kasakit mo diya. Dili! That's not our God. If you think that the Lord will let you get sick while your purpose is to honor and glorify Him, wa mo kaila sa iya. Okay? And many Christians around the world, wa kaila sa iya. Like the prodigal, katong good son, Yung sila, Lord, ibig pangalagad sa imuha. Gibuat na na mo, tanan. Huwag paghihapon na mo, madahot ang blessing. Ha, siya nga, huwag pa ni madahot ang blessing. Tanan, akwain niyo ha, manunta. Pagpaminaw mo sa tinuod ng gospel. Kaya diyan ninyo mailan kung unsa ko ka-loving, unsa ko ka-generous para sa inyo ha. Okay? You want to know more of God's kindness and peace? Sa lying translation, grace and peace are multiplied to you. Then learn to know God better and better. Kasi may experience ko, hindi mo talaga. I mean, daghan pa kahit nagwala ng experience sa Gino. Kinsan naka-experience niya ang gibayran sa Gino yung mga utang. He wants to do that for you. He wants you to experience that. Amen. Wala pa ninyo experience niya. Kinsan naka-experience sa Gino as a healer din. Amen. Ako, kadaghan na yung kaayo. Pwede yung daghan na yun. Okay? Who has experienced the Lord as a mighty provider sa ilang kinabuhi? Amen. Kana. Who has experienced the Lord yung kitabangan mo sa inyong problema? Gisolbad niya nga wala kay Gibuha. Amen. Amen? Amen? Gika na gising Russia. He wants you to experience more of that. More pa. Dili pa na enough. Yung si Paul, I want to know more. Dili ni sakto. Ako dugay na kuluwas. Nagsulat siya more than two-thirds of the New Testament. Yung mga siya, I want to know more. Yung si, gusto, gusto siya ka, ka ng gagutom ba sa iya ha? Because ang purpose kayo na ito, yun is siya yun. Siya ang atong portion. The greatest blessing you will ever receive in life is Jesus Christ. It's not money, it's not healing. It's Jesus Christ Himself. Muna, ingon ng Bible, He is our portion. Maminyo ta sa iya. He is our groom. We are His bride. Nga, John 14, 26, yung si Jesus. But the helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, nindot kayo. Tanang yung counselor, strengthener, standby. The Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, in my place to represent me and act in my behalf. He will teach you all things and He will help you remember everything that I have told you. Unsa man mga teachings ni Jesus under the new covenant. Ang Holy Spirit mo remind sa inyo ha. Kung ako ay pa-enumerate na ako sa inyo ha karoon ang Ten Commandments, dili siguro nyo matama tanan. Kaya niya tama tanan? Ten Commandments, di mo tabangan sa Holy Spirit. Kaya dili man ka na ang gitudlo ni Jesus. Ang gitudlo niya is only two great commandments to love the Lord your God above all and to love others as you love yourself. And then, He taught us about His grace. That's why it's very important that you listen to the Word as it's being preached because it's through the foolishness of preaching to save those who believe. Manananakabot sa Corinthians. Whenever Pastor Arman and I preach here, whenever tama ang pagkapikas-pikas, pagka rightly divides the Word of Truth according to 2 Timothy 2.15, you are getting an accurate knowledge of God. And then, He will remind you of everything He ever taught. Unsa may remind the Lord sa si mo if you don't know it. 
Kung una, nag-study ko sa law school, grammar mong yun ko, I'm sorry to say, pero grammar ko. Yung nag-study ko, even sa pinaka-last ng minuto. For example, ang exam is 11 o'clock, hantod 10.59, nag-basap ako sa mga libro. Anaan ko sa mga classmate, anam ng professor mo kung una, ayaw na mo pag-study o cramming. Dapat, pagkaabot sa, ano, pagkaabot sa exam, dapat relax na mo before sa exam para dali lang ninyo mahinumduman kaya it relaxes your brain, mind, it relaxes your brain and dali lang ninyo mahinumduman kung sa inyong itunan. Ginan ko sa classmate, uy, so finisher din na daw ta mag, sige, cramming, kay para mas dali na itong ma-remember, para mas better atong memory. Ang tubag po na ako, wapa man ako ni nabasahan. Kung saan man ako pagka-remember, ane, kung wapa na ako mabasa. Muna mo, basa agad ko, hantod sa pinaka last minute, at least, basic, i-remind pa ko ni Lord kung saan ako nabasahan. Right? And that's the same way that he, the Lord wants ka na kagutom sa yung word ba? Gusto niya nga, hungry ta, maanita din sa simbahan, maminaw ta. Dili kay, kam- kabalo mo ang, ang kining Hollywood mong word ba? Murag, karoon si Kapon niya na Netflix, no? Dagan kayo mga nice, yung kayo mga movies and everything, everything is so wow, super effects, mga explosions, high action, to the point na no, you get bored na by, by reading your Bible. You get bored na by listening to sermons. Ang attention span sa mga tao, nag-lower, nag-lower, nag-lower. Di nila mga bata na ADHD ka rin, pati mga adults na. Di nakabalo maminaw sa Word of God. Di nila nakabalo mag-focus. Kaya nga naman, katulugod na. Basta maminaw lang ang mga Word of God. Di nila dapat inanak. Ginaprograma mga tao. We have become so used ba to the, to the programming of the enemy. Di nila man bad na movies. I watch movies myself. Pero... Don't be so used to that banga. You lose interest in the things of the Lord anymore. Ako number one interest kina ako ng Word of God. Kaya ngano? Ingon si. Ayan. Kabalo ba mo nga ang purpose nato? Kaya ngano? Si purpose nato is to glorify God, right? That means na tayo minsahe ng idala sa kalibutan. Kaya ngano? Kita din ng idala sa iyang knowledge. Second Corinthians two fourteen na kabutang dary. Thanks be to God who sometimes leads us into triumph. No. Maybe leads us into trial. No? Kung sabi na kapatang tiri, who? Who? Always leads us into trial. That means, padaugon gan mo sa ginoo. No matter what, kung nakaila mo sa inyong ginoo, misang pag nawadaan mo, trabaho, na actually something better para sa inyo ha. Misang pag naglisod mo, walang may provision ka ron, na ay provision na coming sa inyo ha. In anak ko nakaila mo sa atong Ginoo. You will know nga diligid mo niya pasagdan, diligid mo niya pabayaan, and he will never never allow his children to have a hard time or to go hungry. That's what the word of God says. In Christ and through us, ini mo katupad ikaw through you makes evident where everywhere the sweet fragrance of the knowledge of God. Humot kayo ang knowledge of God. Atong ginadala rin ang mensahe, ang agrasya sa ginoo. Humot kayo na siya. It's the best news that the world has ever heard. That God is not angry with them. That God loves them. That God wants to save them. God wants to bless them. Ikaw ang ipadala na. Ingin mo ka ito pa, ikaw ang ipadala na. Dalahin na. Don't forget your mission. Whenever you share this word of God, whenever you send this message sa mong messengers sa mong friends you are doing your work you are spreading ang kahumot sa knowledge it's all about the knowledge of God because Jesus said the truth you shall know the truth no say it with me no okay and the truth will set you free kasagaran did you say the truth will set you free the truth kulang na siyang versikulo you have to know the truth before it can set you free and kita mga Kristohanon, we are experiencing God more, kita ang magdalaan ng mensahe sa ginoo dito sa kalibutan. Muna itong ginabuhat sa church, dili na siya, dili na siya enjoy, enjoy lang. This is, this is a mission. It's a sacred mission that the Lord has given us. In fact, ingon diri sa Ephesians 4 nga, kailangan mag-mature ta sa itong pakaila sa Diyos. Right? Ephesians 4 verse 13 to 14. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge. Say to me again, knowledge. Important thing you take knowledge, no? Nasyak na lang po ba? While I'm reading my Bible, I'm coming across these verses. Puro knowledge. Puro about knowing God. Puro about knowing more about Him. We always sing it in church. I want to know you. I want to hear your voice. I want to know you. 
more. There's always more to know. Unity in our faith and in the knowledge of God's Son so that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Yun sa mature sa ginawa Amen? Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. So ang gusto sa ginawa is dili tamang padala ng mga wrong teachings diha. Na kung nailang na tao, mga very smart man unta, very bright man unta, pero kanang later on, nag-pray siya in tongues. Nag-tuko sila in prayer in tongues. Nga later on, pagbasa niya na siya, nabasa sa internet, later on na siya nga, ay dili man din ang tongues para sa tanan, no? Para lang man din sa mga people nga na gift Tapos na po kayo ilang kristohanong nadugay na siya sa Assemblies of God. Kunya, nakabasa siya kung sa kalibro, nga gisulat sa usa ka certain John, dili na nakasot yun, kung sa Pilipino, nga gidaot-daot ang tongues. Kunya, ever since then, bisag kung saan ako pakita kung mga versikulo sa iya sa kliente man to, bisag kung saan ako pakita kung versikulo diya sa office, Dili na yun siya mutuo. Kaya nga nung nakadungog siya ka ng wrong teaching, yun, nadala siya sa wrong teaching. Kisa na ito ang prayer in tongues niya. Amen. Amen. Ganiha sa atong praise and worship, sa atong pinaka-first na song, when Brother June led us into that praise and worship, you spontaneously broke out into tongues. Ganiha. I was so blessed by that. The Lord is confirming His message. Diba? They broke out into tongues. It was beautiful. Diba? Yung nga si Lord nga, we worship Him in our wor- understanding, but we worship Him in the spirit as well. Di ba? We know this. We know that when we pray according in tongues, the Holy Spirit is making perfect prayers to us. He's helping us in our weakness. But when people hear things wrong sa internet, and then they change their mind, dali lang kayo sila madala sa teaching. Na yung isang, nagbalik ko di na siya, di na siya mutong kay Jesus. Na yung ibang tao di ha, bisan kung saan nalang kinabilive. Kaya nang makadungo guys sa internet, I'm telling you, tinig internet, Nice man ang internet. No? Dagan mga mga lindot niya. Dagan mga mga truth. But I'm telling you, grabe ka false prophets internet. Dagan na kayo mga tao na, na, na take sa kamatuuran. Dili na daw tapat magsimba. Dili na daw magtigong kay tungod kay... Dili daw ka na... That's totally contradicting Acts chapter 2 of the entire uh, book of, of the Word of God. Kanya, ang pinaka-shocking niya is tapag yung pastora nagduhol sa kotuuna trying to impress me, trying to get me as one of our followers. Ngayon siya... Attorney, kabalo ba ka? Ang sig, dapat niyong basahon sa Bible. Ang saman, dapat niyong basahon kay ang Book of Eno. Yung siya na kailan ang Book of Eno? Wala na siya sa Biblia. That's an extra-biblical book. <laughs> ha? The Book of Eno. Kada si Eno, is kato na siyang katong, katong sa Book of Genesis pa, ang gidala sa ginawa sa langit. Nado siya yung libro ng isulat. Kung yun yun siya, dihag yun ka makatoon sa Book of Eno. Kay, ah, kini na shock yung pastora ni ha? So, sa kadakong nga simbahan, yun, ano, pag siya nga, kinin book of Eno, ano, kanang, ah, kinin mang Bible na to karon kanang mang kung Bible na to karon gipang, unsa lang guna, kanang, kanang, gipang pili-pili lang nila kung sa libro ay sulun nila na. Kana ko nga, kisuhanong bagyo ka? Pastora ka pa? Kung niya, muna yung mong pagtuo, ang Bible na to asa man nagigka ng belief. Kanang doubt-doubt na kanang sa atong Bible, Gika na siya sa mga certain unbeliever na scholars na gipasikat ni Dan Brown dito sa Da Vinci Code. Ingon sila, ang Bible daw na to, dili daw mao. Kay nagsabot-sabot na daw sila, ngayon kini, sunod na rin. Mara girafo lang sila. Ang sa may sunod na yung sunod sa Bible. Book of Genesis. Okay, sunod sa Bible. Dili. Wala na dili. <laughs> dili na siya random lang. Wala na siya gipili-pili. Kini mga Book of Enoch. Kini mga other ng mga books diha. The Book of Judas. Na daw. Nada, Book of Judas, Book of Mary Magdalene, wala na gisulod sa Bible, kay kabalo pa lang ang simbahan kung unsa ang mga tinuod ng mga books. Gigunita nila mga letters ni Paul. Gigunita nila mga letters ni Peter. O niya yung una, mga early church fathers at itong mga simbahan, itong una nga, pikini! Dili ni siya tinuod, dili ni siya mao. Tayaw na apila sa Bible. Tabi ka ayo. Ang kliyente na ako, mga Christian, bago lang nagato sa office. niya, Ingon siya, ganahan daw siya kaya mga to sa office. Kaya every time mga to siya sa office, mabusog daw kaya siya sa pulong sa Diyos. Di ba? Kung magiging natong work, it's to spread the fragrance of the knowledge of God. Mabusog daw kaya siya spiritually. Muling ganahan ako din. Turning back. Lami kaya, mabusog yung ko spiritually. Kaya ingon siya, kapag natunaw niya, na daw nagtuktok siya ang balay, pre-COVID pa yata, unya, mga Pilipino daw to, unya, gitudluan daw sila about God the Mother. 
Hindi na nakadungog ana. Daghana, na mi friend niya ni nga giduulan Koreano pa gyud, na Christian daw. Ni gina gina pa gidaw ang ano tapos mamugos pa gidaw dayon nga baptismo hon dayon. Wa pa gani siya nagtuo baptismo hon dayon siya. Okay? Unya katong God the Mother lagi daw unsay reasoning daw nila. Ang reasoning daw nila is katodong sa beginning in the beginning nagyo let us make man. Kinsa daw ka istorya ni God? Kung na daw God the Father, na daw God the Mother. Ingon sila, pakita nila tong verse sa akong kliyente nga sa sa ano na the church is uh, na, na, na bride si Christ. Ang siya muna ni si God the Mother. Ang siya nga, uy, giputol man ni yung versikulo. Rewind, rewind, gamay, talawa diri. Ang church, ang bride ni Cristo. Di ka daw sila manahog dito. Dito rin ka daw sila sa versikulo nila. Ang siya nga, kapoy naman ni, mature naman yung Christian because she's a mature Christian. She knows the word of God. Di na ganyan nga, Dili naman ni kanang useful magsigit ag lalis diri. Ani na lang. Magampo mo para sa ko, ampo po ko para sa inyo. I will pray for you nya. That's it na. Halag, hastang dali ara gid daw naghawa sa balay. Dili dili may gusto din gusto mo hawa daw dayon. Ana mo, pati mo sila gusto mo pampo. Ay sya bulag ing katingatan pastor ni. Man dili man sila gusto magpampo unsa may kahadlo ka nila sa pagampo. Right? There's something wrong there. Di ba? Naghana kay deception sa kalibot. Satan knows Mang God nga dili niya ma-stop ang word of God. Impossible to stop the word of God. So gibuhat niya, gisagol-sagola niya ang mga false o mga lies ang word of God. Gisagol-sagola niya ang mga untruths. Kaya ang 100% truth gani, wan sagola na nimo ka kanang kanang ano? Ah, uh, kanang sagola na nimo glay, bisan pag 1% lang dili na na siya truth. Lie na na tanan because a lie makatakod yun. That's the leaven of the Pharisees. So grabe ka ay good ang mga ang mga deception diri sa kalibutan karon but you don't need to be deceived you depend on the holy spirit continue to keep listening to the word of truth nga tama ang pagkapikas-pikas Christians right now are still mixing law and grace and si Jesus don't mix old wine skin don't put new wine into old wine skins you will lose both and say if by grace not by works if by works not by grace Ingon si Paul, di na mo masagol. The purpose of the law is para mo despair na yung kanga di na gini mo kaya, then magita ka sa grasya sa ginoo. Unang purpose sa law, nihatang ang law para magita mo sa grasya sa ginoo. Anong grasya sa ginoo, mo gina siyang kamatuuran. Mo gina siya ang truth. But Christians are mixing it like the good son. Sigsilo pang alagad, not knowing that God wants to bless them already. Not knowing that they are loved by like a son, by a very good Heavenly Father. Tunguna sa tunguna pang na tunguna pang 2013 nagkaroon kong spinal disc extrusion. Nagbreak ako ng spine halos dili ko kalakaw. I was in so much pain, maglingkod ko ginala. Jis minutos lang makahilak na ako sa kasakit. Ano mo higda ko? One hour lang dili ko kahigda. Kung bangon yu ko kay sakit yu kaya kong likod, o sakit kaya kong legs because na break ang akong spine. Pero nakaila man ko kay Jesus. Kabalo man ko ana ko Lord. Wala mo yung kay Gibalibaran o healing. Hing nagyong ko sa pinakamahay nga doktor diri sa Davao o sa Manila, nga di ginoon ko maayo alas operahan ko. Pero kung operahan po, posible po nyo din na daw ako kalakaw. Kaya kung mahati, mapikas daw to ako ang nerve roots akong spine, forever na ginoon ko di makalihok sa akong legs. So, ang leading Lord sa akong is pray. Nga naman, anak ko nga, Lord, wala yung kay Gibalibaran na tao na nag, nag, ano, nag, at to simple. Kaya ilang mga kuya Jesus, kabalong mga kung unsa siya. Muna, How did I receive my healing? No, no, no. Huwag mo kikibalibaran, Lord. Na nagduol sa'yo mga for healing. Di po siguro ko ni mo. Di ko ni mo balibaran, Lord. Kung maduol ko sa'yo mga ngayon kong healing sa'yo mga karon. Di ko ka makita sa Bible na nagduol kay Jesus nga, Lord, heal me, son of David. Ano siya? Di ko ni mo kay Dai Kagulo. Di ko ni mo kay Dai Kagusimba. Or ka na may nanak ba? Never guilt si Jesus nagbalibad. O ka na mong sa. O ka na tao. Tanan yun. You will find in the Bible. Jesus went about healing all who were sick. Sa Matthew 8. Sa book of Acts. Doing good. Healing. Casting out demons. And healing all who were sick. Kanya, nakabutang po sa I also know Jesus. And I also know the word of God. It says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If wala kay Ibalibaran, Lord. Kanya, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Therefore, Lord, I can ask you for healing today. And definitely, I will be healed. And then, na ayog yung ko. Walay operasyon, walay physical therapy, walay tambal. Because I know my Lord and I know His Word. And once you know the Lord that much, 
like the Roman centurion, wala yung imposible para sa inyo ha. Kung hadlok mo, if your, your, your struggle right now is your finances, your job, or your health, the Lord will meet you at your level of faith. Because once you know the Lord, kung kahilag yung ka, once you believe, remember yung ni Jesus, ang word for us today, don't be afraid, just believe, and you will receive it. Right? You will be healed. Or, maridawat ni mo kung sa gipangandoy ni mo. Ang gipangandoy mo ko ni Jairus sa ceiling siya, daughter. Pero dili man pare-parehas sa itong ginapangandoy. Dili man pare-parehas sa itong ginatuan. Dili pare-parehas ang ato ang gina-hope for. Pero ka na, ni Jesus, the word of the Lord for you today, just believe, don't be afraid, and you will receive it is what is your believing for. Because once you know your God, once you believe that word, God calls that faith. And kind of faith na kana that can move mountains, that can split the sea, that can take you out of the fire and save you, that can stop you from whatever situation you are facing right now, that can provide for you, that can heal your body. Nothing is impossible for our God. But He meets you at your level of faith. And your level of faith is only commensurate with how intimate, how deeply, and how well you know our Lord God. That's why Paul wanted to know more. Who else here wants to know more of the Lord Jesus? Who wants to experience more of His power? Amen? Let's raise our hand. Amen? Lord, let's pray. Let's stand up and let's pray, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for the people, oh God, that are here this morning, Lord. We know, Lord, that we came here, Lord, to honor you, to glorify you, and to praise you forever, Lord. Salamat, Lord Jesus, that you have wonderful plans for all of your children, Lord. You want to prosper them, Lord. You want to heal them, Lord. You want to deliver them from every trouble, every difficulty, Lord. And as you have promised in your word in the book of Daniel, Ingun ka, Lord Jesus, the people who know their God will do mighty exploits and will be victorious, Lord Jesus. Kami, Lord, nakaila ni Simon, Lord. We know how loving you are. We know how powerful you are. And we believe, Lord God. We will not be afraid, Lord. We will believe what your word says, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for honoring that faith. Thank you, Lord, what it is your people are asking for, what it is they're believing for, Lord Jesus. We believe, Lord God, you will cause them to be victorious. They shall do mighty exploits for you, Lord, because they know. We know you, Lord. We know you as a loving Father. We know you, Lord, as our victorious champion. We know you as our loving high priest. We know you as our intercessor. We know, Lord, that you are on our side forever. We know, Lord, that you are gracious. We know, Lord, that you are generous. And we know, Lord, that you are everything that we need. We place all of our hope in you. In Jesus' name, and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. And let's continue with our communion.
bread. On the night before we betrayed Lord Jesus, he lifted the bread, broke it, gave thanks, and said, This is my body, which is given up for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord, we thank you so much, Lord, for you are our God, Lord Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer. As you have promised in Isaiah 53, verse 5, Lord, he said, Lord, the punishment that brought a shalom was upon you. And by your stripes, by the wounds of your back, Lord Jesus, we have been healed, Lord. We have been healed, Lord, more than 2,000 years ago when you paid the full price for our healing, Lord. Therefore, Lord, we have no reason to fear, Lord, any sickness, any disease, Lord. We have no reason to fear even COVID-19, oh God, because we know our God. We know you are our healer. We will know, Lord, you are the God who forgives all sins and heals us and delivers us from all diseases. According to your word in Psalm 103, you said also, Lord, in your word in Psalm 107, verse 20, you sent forth your word and you healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. Salamat for Jesus, you are our deliverer. As you are, so are we in this world. As you have said in 1 John 4, 17, Lord, Lord, no virus, no disease can touch your body, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that as you are, so are we in this world. In Jesus' name, let's eat the body of our Lord Jesus.
you, Lord, for your mighty provision in our lives, Lord. We know, Lord Jesus, that no matter what happens, Lord, in this world, Lord, no matter what economic difficulties, Lord, the world or the Philippines may face, oh God, you will remain, oh God, a mighty provider for all of your beloved children, Lord. We believe, oh God, that you have overflowing blessings for each and every one of us, Lord. We believe, oh God, that you have sent your word that you will open the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessing upon your people that they will not even have enough room to receive them. We know, Lord God, that when we bring, Lord God, our tithes and our offerings to you, Lord, cheerfully, oh God, we know, Lord God, that you are happy, that you will honor our faith, oh God. And that, Lord, they will want us upon Lord Jesus. Because, Lord, when we do so, we are declaring that you are first in everything, even over our finances and even over our work. Therefore, Lord, multiply the tithes and offerings of your children, Lord, by a million fold, oh God. We know, Lord Jesus, happy time on Valley, Lord, and you have a mighty work for your church, Lord, even before you come back, oh God. We believe, oh God, before you even rapture, oh God. We believe, Lord God, you're going to do a mighty restoration in the lives of all your children. We know you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As you have said, Lord, in Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, in the King James Version, Lord, you said, Lord God, that the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits of God. Thank you so much, Lord, for blessing every person, Lord God, hearing the sound of my voice right now. Thank you, Lord, for honoring the faith of your people who came here, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for always protecting us, Lord, from every sickness and disease, especially in COVID-19 disease. Thank you, Lord, for blessing every source of income. Thank you, Lord, for multiplying, Lord God, every source of blessing in their lives, Lord. Not only financial blessings, of God, but spiritual, emotional, physical, Lord God, holistic blessings, Lord, in every area of their life. For you said, Lord, that you want us to prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. Now the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and pour out his special grace and favor upon you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his shalom peace both now and forever. The Lord bless your coming in and your going out. The Lord bless your sources of income. The Lord bless even the students here who are studying, even those who are listening online. Lord, thank you, Lord, letting your blessings are flowing upon us in every way, Lord. As you have promised in 2 Corinthians 9, Lord, you want us, Lord, to abound in every way so that we will also abound in every good work, Lord. Thank you, Lord, now unto him who is able to keep us from stumbling and falling unto Jesus Christ, our Lord, and unto God, our Father. Be all glory, all dominion, all majesty, all praise, and all thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, and the people of God say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. Join us again next week and even in our Saturday service. Evening online at 6 p.m. And you guys have a Wednesday receiving meeting at 6.30 p.m. Goodbye, guys. Oh, this is the one that I'm not going to get to.